Put that right here. Okay, I like to zoom in and zoom out. He's so prepared. He's like so on top of every nuance of this. Hi-handed hi-hat thing, it's just so strange. That one, I used three hi-hats for. So when you play really fast, and traditionally your, your hi-hat is on the left, and if you play really fast and loud, it's very hard to hit the snare drum consistently hard whilst your right hand is over the top. This is something I, I started doing when I was with Iggy Pop, was I put a second hi-hat here on the right side so I could play it in a comfortable, easy motion and leave a big space to hit the snare drum hard. And then if I want to play an open hi-hat, I'd have to, because this one's permanently closed. There's no pedal to it. It was just two hi-hats clamped together. And then if you want to play an open hi-hat, you're going to have to do it with your left hand or your right hand over there. And then I had another little hi-hat, which was two splash cymbals, um, almost closed, but they were sort of slightly loose. And I mounted that close to this second hi-hat. So I developed this pattern that I could play uh, that particular song, and I could hit these two little uh, hi-hats together as part of the pattern of that song. And that became very, difficult to play live without that second hi-hat. So I always use that as an excuse <laughs> to not want to play that song live because it's really tiring. Really, really tiring. first show I ever played with Porcupine Tree was at um, the Middle East Club in Boston and Steve thought it'd be a great idea if we started with Create Had a Master Tape and he said why don't you go on and play about 32 bars on your own and then we'll come in uh, so that was the very first thing I ever played live uh, there was probably about 35 people there <laughs> Thank you. 